Anyway, I just gave Rascal a sandwich and she took off, so she's gone for the night. She's not like these fellows. You know, I've been sitting out here since 7.30, and it's 11 o'clock now. That's four hours. Almost four hours I've been out here looking after these little parts. These guys will hang around all night. But I'm turning the light off, and I'm going in and watch some television. And there's enough food out here to keep them busy. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to tell you a little story about eight or nine years ago when Rascal was a lot younger and she was having babies I was sitting out here uh, there was just her and I and uh, she was getting her hot dogs and stuff and this other raccoon showed up I didn't know him he was a big male anyway I threw a hot dog at him and he went in the corner and he ate it and then he uh, I was giving a hot dog to rascal and this guy here lunged at me for no reason I don't know what the hell was wrong with him she had him by the throat so fast he never got within two feet of me and she shook the hell out of him and he took off flying we never saw him again that's one thing I'll tell you she won't let anybody any other raccoon touch me even now because uh, for all intents and purposes I'm her I'm her father or parent and uh, she's very protective of me. I notice a lot of times uh, when these little guys come around me, she growls at them. She doesn't like another raccoon coming near me. But anyway, I've uh, been on the alert after that, but I never had another incident. Uh, I don't know why he lunged at me. I mean, I gave, him, I gave him food, but I guess he figured I should have been faster than I was. But anyway... She uh, she nailed him in the throat and she and she just shook him up and down and he was howling and screeching and and uh, then he was gone. Now see you know what she's doing she's uh, she's laying on the top step there and she got her body half out under the rung and she's watching things going on so she's watching to make sure these guys are all right. And the funny thing is if I pick one of these guys up and they start squawking and all that. She don't say boo to me. <clears throat> These fellows are so used to me sitting here now. I've been here, well, like I say, almost four hours. Hey, guys. And the little fellow that bit me, he left with his mother, I guess. But uh, it was only just a puncture. And I soaked the uh, peroxide and alcohol and iodine and anything else I got my hands on. So... <clears throat> Banish it up. I get more scratches and bites. But it's nothing aggressive. It's just, uh, it's, a lot of it's just accidental. Hey guys. And I do have a tetanus shot. And they're good for 10 years when you get them. So I got about, I think I got 3-4 years left on this one. What are you doing? Look at those babies. Look at those babies. Hey. Babies. <laughs> well, there's some cute. Well, I'm calling her night. See you later, fellas.